Welcome back to Crypto Zombies. We're in chapter 3, State Variables and Integers. It says, great job. Now that we've got a shell for our contract, let's learn about how Solidity deals with variables. State variables are permanently stored in a contract storage or in contract storage. This means they're written to the Ethereum blockchain. Think of them like writing to a database. So an example, contract example. This will be stored permanently in the blockchain. We have a uint, my unsigned integer is assigned 100. So in this example contract, we created a uint called my unsigned integer and set it equal to 100. Unsigned integers, so uint. The uint data type is an unsigned integer, meaning its value must be non-negative. There's also an int data type for signed integers. No, in Solidity, uint is actually an alias for uint256, a 256-bit unsigned integer. You can declare uints with less bits, uint8, uint16, uint32, etc. But in general, you want to simply use uint, except in specific cases, which we'll talk about in later lessons. So put it to the test. Our zombie DNA is going to be determined by a 16-digit number. Declare a uint named DNA digits and set it equal to 16. So we're going to go here. Inside of our contract, what we're going to want to do is, down where it says start here, we're going all up in there and we're declaring a uint by the name of DNA digits and we're setting it equal to 16. Let's see if I did this right. We do have uint, the name of the integer, and then what we're assigning to it. Here was 16. So this should allow us to create the variable DNA digits and store it within our zombie factory contract. Let us see if we pass. Check answer. We did pass this. So the important thing to take from this lesson was how we can declare a variable and the fact that it did say that they are permanently stored in contract storage which means they're written on the blockchain and we must think of them like a database so as long as you have that that's what we'll stop for this lesson make sure to like share subscribe if you found this video helpful and i'll make sure to see you on that next lesson where we can continue this see you then